Today I want to talk about how innocent I was in my past and how I came a furry. As many of you should not know, but I confessed in the server already that back then, when I had no idea what was the anti-furry community, I was a furry. And yes, I hate myself. Every morning, I regret those days. But we're not here for regret, we're here for explanation. Now, the thing is that... Well... Everything started in a roleplay game, and it was a bit after um, a rule got removed. Many of you might know Animatronic World, which got removed rule 5, no crossovers. At start we all know that there was Among Us, and after Among Us gone, everything gone to hell with it. And then a lot of furries started to join the game. And that's where our second chapter will start, the writing of Animatronic World. Before you even start to think about anything or start searching up the game already in Roblox, I wanna put something, only one thing clear about what I'm gonna say. FNAF has nothing to do with furries. That's it. You want me to discuss that? Well, I, I will do a private video because I have a ton of stuff in that notebook that I just slammed in the table. The thing is that when a furry would join this animatronic world game, we're talking about a roleplay game, and they're specialists in roleplay. Everybody would like to roleplay with those people, and as usually thought, um, they would friend those furries, and then they became furry. It was just a complete infection because they were very good roleplaying. Instead of doing a mixture of Dragon Ball, Naruto, FNAF and all kind of weird shit that does not go together into a Roblox roleplay game and making tons of cringe and then turning themselves into a cringe. Not all of them were bad. Most of them were good. Actually, to be honest, most of them were good. But still, no, I don't know. Everybody would like to roleplay with those people. But that's what happened with me. I found a dude that would play roleplay very good. And... I friended him because he requested me. And we would start then play only Kaiho Paradise, which looked weird, I don't know. Don't mind me, but it was private servers, so I thought, oh, okay, role playing in a game that is less role play, and I was totally wrong. Now here we are in the part where I was already a furry. That's it. Here in this chapter, when you know, I had no idea that I was a furry, but at the same time, I was a furry because I would play those games not less than what you play shooters usually a lot right I would play entire days only Kaiju Paradise and other furry games I don't want a specific because it will get long but and then I started to get more into the community and then is where I started to know about the prohibited words the cringy words for you to understand it better and not all not only that, also when I started to understand that jokes wasn't the best thing in the furry community. For example, if I saw a guy with a yellow furry, I one time told a guy with the yellow furry, your furry is so yellow, you can offend the lemonade only walking by it. Sound funny back then uh, for the age that I had because there wasn't something more yellow than lemonade, and the guy just told me to go and fuck off. 
just for you to understand how toxic they were. So it would look like a furry was stabbing a furry. That was actually the case back then. And so I started to joke less with them because I don't know, maybe my jokes were too bad or stuff. But you know, you just wanna what you know, chill and get good waves and that. But they tell you to shh the freak up and go to hell. And not only that, I'm not saying that all furries are, you know, the same freaking uh, snowflakes, but many of you are LGBTQ and many of you are snowflakes. Like, uh, a community gives reputation to itself by the members that it has. So if most of furries are snowflakes, furries are snowflakes. If most of furries are zoophiles, they are zoophiles. And it's also by fame. That was back then, but today it's on fame, you know. If zoophile furries are f have more fame than not LGBTQ furries, so all furries are tagged as zoophiles. That's how it works today. You know, there are a lot of members in my community that makes German memes and I don't get offended. Like, yeah, I'm from Israel, I, but I don't give I don't give so much a fuck. You know, it's not that offensive. Maybe I don't know. I think that's good because I don't get offended. I don't know, but yeah, you understand. Like they say that we take f Nazi stuff, but we don't. We just make fun out of anything. We just cross our path. Hey, yo, that's a cat. Freeze when they're horny. And I'm telling my dude, dude, you did that joke 22 times. It's so funny. Okay, yeah, I gotta be honest, it's so funny. When you want me to do, slap him? I don't know. Uh, we do jokes about anything that cross away. What is this? Oh, look, a media player tree. Hmm. Let's see what it has. Oh, look, there is a cringy sun here. When a furry steals your mp3 and he has it for 5 minutes. Le Mau. You get it, we do jokes about anything that cross our path. And yeah, German, Nazi Germany was one of them. So, in this chapter is where I started to stop playing games because I was, you know, just tired of getting killed because of my lag. I think that I have a slow processor. And also where I started to watch more animations than play cringy games because because yes. Um I don't know, I had a lot of lag, that's why. The main reason. And then when I was watching all these cringy animations, I saw the red, black, white anti-furry flag and I thought it looked cool. Me and my personal thinking experience, me and my brain, it was like, that's a, that's a nice flag there. Let's, let's see what, what it got. And I click it and I started to freaking laugh and then I started to realize thanks to the memes and what furries were actually and what I was getting into because nobody told me that inside the furry era that I had and I was heck of a furry because nobody wanted to play with me nobody wanted to have even eye contact with me or chatting nothing I was just I had like the whole my whole friends were online but none of them wanted to play with me so yeah I lived it and then I started to make this channel I had this channel long ago empty but now it's filled